The Giganotosaurus was one of the biggest land carnivores in history. Much larger and faster than the T-Rex, it would have been a formidable foe, even though historians believe the T-Rex would have won in a fight against a Giga. Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Creature Spotlight, where we talk about a specific creature and give you a ton of information on it, like how to tame it, how to defend against it, and much more, all in less than 10 minutes. If you want to grow your skills and all sorts of other ARC-related stuff, subscribe now so you don't miss anything. If you've played ARC for more than a few hours, chances are high that you've run into a Giga. Chances are also high that the Giga ended up outrunning you and killing you in just a few bites. This is what the Giga does in ARC, and it's easily considered one of the most powerful tames in the game. Let's start by talking about what you'll need in order to trap and tame a Giga. Uh, so no big deal, let's start the trap. We're gonna basically make a triangle here. Um, so we need the space to be wide enough for the Giga to actually get in. So between this trap and the next one I'm about to place, we're gonna leave some space between the two. And uh, we kind of need it to like arch in like this. That should be sufficient. Uh, and then essentially, once the Giga is in here, we're just gonna place this last one down behind him, wherever it'll go, and he'll be sufficiently trapped. But to make sure that he actually stops here and uh, doesn't like push his way through, that's where this bear trap comes in. So we're going to put this right here, right where his big giant ass foot is going to stop. Uh, and then once he's in here, we just turn around, come back down and shablam, place this motherfucker. But as soon as we do that, we're going to either, well, no, we'll be fine to uh, assign our hotbar after that. And since I am on this guy, I should be able to uh, just shoot right here. Right? Okay. You aggroed on me anyway? Yeah. Come here, bro. Come on. Oh shit, he's fucking me up. You can hit me once. All right, let's go. Oh my god, we might die. Get in this trap. There we go. You see that? He's in the trap. Now we drop down. We land. Oh my god, please land. Get the fuck off. We have to go quick. We'll place this in right here. Make sure he's trapped. Hopefully he doesn't get out. If he gets out, we're fucked. All right, very nice. There we go, boys. We are officially ready to start taming. So this is why you bring extras of stuff. Just because if he were to get out and I had an opportunity to place some more doors, I would. Uh, but we should be fine. So let's uh, let's start shooting. We just got to shoot like 300 plus of these into this guy, which is why I have four harpoon launchers. If he gets out, we're fucked. A vote of confidence. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Honestly, though, if he were to get out, we would totally be fucked. Wild Gigas are easily more formidable than uh, tamed Gigas. And the reason for that is tamed Gigas actually uh, lose like 63,000 health when they're tamed, as well as like 80% of their melee damage or something like that. So not only is it, these guys are basically an investment when when you're taming a Giga, it's like saving for a car, basically, because in order to get these the, my equipment legitimately, you're going to have to save narcotics for a long time, basically. Taming a Giga is like a sign of skill and power. Like, no matter what happens, if you're facing someone in PvP that has a Giga, um, it might not even be worth it to kill that Giga, even if you have the means to, because... That player that tamed the Giga is so skilled that they might have the means to retaliate and make sure you don't build on that server. So um, it's definitely a, a little bit of a mind game with these guys. Not only are they a trophy tame, but if you can start breeding them and mutating them to get the stats that you want, these are easily the most powerful tames in the game. Even with the risk of uh, their, their rage meter turning on you and killing you instantly, they're, they're definitely worth it, especially if you know how to mutate and all that. <laughs> Why am I using a harpoon gun against a Giga? I knew somebody was going to ask. Uh, according to Dodo Dex, uh, this is one of the fastest ways to knock it out. So we've got, uh, like, just an absolute shitload of uh, spear bolts and everything. Oh, there we go. There's the next one. Come on. There we go. Gigas, I don't like how fast their, uh, their torpor drains. That's why you need... Um, I don't know why I was recommending to people using a crossbow. Yeah, the crossbow fires faster, but the torpidity doesn't raise as much, so it takes significantly more crossbow bolts than anything else. 
technically ignoring shock trank darts here harpoon guns are technically the best for taming yeah exactly exactly so even with this high damage you're not worried about him getting it through the gate nope he cannot destroy metal it's just not possible he can destroy stone but not metal shocking trank start trank darts not viable no they are actually the best way to tame them uh nebula uh i just i feel like a lot of players aren't gonna have the resources to get that uh venom so this is the best way to do it if we ignore shocking trank darts Wow, this takes a very long time. This is why two people are important. Do you see how many harpoon launchers I've gone through? Yes! Bitches! Fucking get fucked, Giga. Oh my god, take this and take these. Dude, 99,000 fucking torpor. So basically, the strategy that we're going to do right now, actually, let's get this kibble out of here. We're going to let his hunger go way down. We're going to let his tor torpidity go way down. Um... And uh, basically, once his torpidity is at about a third or a quarter, we're just going to feed him as many of these as we can. Nice. All right, so we're going to start smashing this guy with some narcotics. We're going to give him 300. There's 200. And 300. I am keeping a close eye on this torpidity because it's going up right now, which is fine. But uh, I really want it to... Actually, he might be able to be tamed right now. Right? Yeah! Big boy! There we go. Great! We've tamed a Giga. There's a bit more you'll need to know in order to properly handle it, though. For instance, it has a rage mode that gets activated when it receives enough consecutive damage. I wasn't able to trigger rage mode unless I used C4, so that's what you'll be seeing me using here. Rage mode essentially makes the Giga attack literally everything in sight, except for other friendly Gigas. This effect lasts for 20 seconds and can cause some serious devastation before rage mode is done. Ah, oh, he's done. Hey, bud, you all done? You done being an angry piece of shit? The ARC wiki mentions that when one Giga gets put into rage mode, that all other Gigas in the immediate area will also enter rage mode. Unfortunately, I couldn't get this to work. I tried many different things to get it to work for me, so it makes me wonder whether this fact is true or not. For the Giga experts watching this, let me know in the comments. Another reason to get a Giga is that it can tear through stone bases. This means that if you get one, you'll be wiping bobs left and right. If you've ever been raided by a Giga, you understand that there's only a few things you can do in order to defeat it. It's not a good idea to just trade bites with it. The Giga has a bleed effect that will shred most tames. Instead, I recommend either using a Manic Armor to freeze it while you run away, or using a Lightning or Poison Wyvern to attack it from the sky. Since tamed Gigas are significantly weaker than wild Gigas, it's possible for a group of Raxes to take out a Giga as well, as long as they're on the stronger side and mate boosted. A lot of players find that bringing a Giga out to sea will result in a swift death for it considering it has very little stamina and a slow swim speed. You could also use a bunch of Kentros to reflect a ton of damage to it. All of these are viable strategies for defending against a Giga. Ready for some rapid fire Giga facts? Let's go. Gigas are one of four creatures with the bleed effect. Gigas are more closely related to the Allosaurus than the T-Rex. The Giga can roar, but it does nothing except for make you feel like a badass. Gigas sometimes have trouble moving over rocks. Gigas have a wide turn radius, meaning mechs can outmaneuver them and avoid their bite. Gigas in Ark have no natural predators. If there's no prey in the area, Gigas will stand still forever and ever. It takes over 10 days to fully raise a Giga on official servers. If you didn't know, I usually film these videos while I'm streaming. Make sure to follow me there if you want to be a part of them. Links are in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for your time today. We'll see you in the next video.